You're still trying to win? That was pathetic. <laughs> Welcome back to Happen's Picks. As you know, I went 0-4. I left the uh, big goose egg out of the bag and tremendous. It's one of those weeks where you lose by the spread. I mean, you pick the games. Uh, Packers won, but not by the spread. Uh, San Diego won, but not by the spread. And then, you know, Cleveland trounces on Pittsburgh. Oh my goodness, so crazy week. Hopefully uh, I'll bring my uh, standing back up uh, this week. So they're not looking pretty good. There they are. Just uh, simply horrible. All right, um, oh, one thing I want to touch about the Lions, they play uh, New Orleans at home in Ford Field. Uh, pretty evenly matched. Detroit has great defense. New Orleans has a great offense. Uh, Detroit's offense looked mediocre. I, I think we need to you know, do something about that offensive line just not getting Matthew Stafford enough time to throw the ball. Uh, but New Orleans defense is about, about average uh, as, as Detroit's offense. Uh, so it should be a good game. Uh, you know, if, if you look at last year's Lions, a win-loss, win-loss column, you know, uh, week five we lost to Buffalo. Last year, we, week five, we lost to Green Bay. Uh, then uh, we won week six last year, we won week six this year, uh, and then we, we lost at home against Cincinnati by field goal uh, last year. So uh, we might win or might lose uh, against New Orleans, you know, uh, might be close, you know, I'm, I'm going to put my money on New Orleans, I mean, <laughs> New Orleans, but uh, Detroit. But it's a two and a half point spread. If we do win, it'll be about three. It's going to be a close game. All you can do is hope for that uh, the Saints just, you know, do horribly like they did uh, on the road this year. Uh, they lost to Cleveland at home, even though they're not too bad uh, this year, Cleveland. Uh, and Dallas, they got killed in Dallas. Uh, that was horrible. And then they, of course, week one, they lost to Atlanta at the end of the game in Atlanta. And they're not a great team, so. Uh, so let's, uh, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, the, uh, the, that new scheme, I think, you know, the teams that get blown out do twice as good, and teams that blow out other teams do half as good. So uh, teams, uh, you know, like, uh, like I mentioned last week, Oakland, you know, they, they kept up this week, even though they got blown out by Miami the following week, and like the Jets, you know, they, they were keeping up with Denver for a little while, you know, when they got blown up by San Diego the week, the week before. Uh, this week, uh, you know, Cleveland, uh, you know, they blew out the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, you know, I think the, the Rams got uh, blown out, so they might play a little bit tougher. And uh, Baltimore, you know, killed uh, Tampa Bay this week. Uh, so they might play half as good, but, you know, they're playing Atlanta. So, yeah, Atlanta on the road, too. It's in Baltimore. Tough call. You know, I'll probably pick Baltimore this week. But let's get to my four favorites and start this week's video. My number four pick of the week, my upset pick of the week, I, I picked uh, Pittsburgh last week. Didn't pan out so well. You know, they didn't even keep the game close. Pittsburgh, you know, not doing so well. Uh, but this week I'm going to, against Cleveland again, and I'm picking Jacksonville. This is the second time I picked Jacksonville. Didn't do so well. A couple, uh, week two, I think it was. Um, they kept it close. Jacksonville keeping it close the last two weeks. Uh, Barely losing to Tennessee and barely losing to Pittsburgh. Uh, it's a five point spread. I, I can't tell you if Jacksonville's going to win or not, but I think they'll keep it kind of close. Uh, Cleveland's on a two game win streak. Uh, they beat uh, Tennessee, um, and then of course they beat Pittsburgh uh, the last two weeks. So they're on a roll. 
they might be thinking, oh, we're doing great. Uh, uh, we're playing Jacksonville. Everybody beats Jacksonville. So I think Jacksonville will keep it close. And I'm taking Jacksonville plus five. My number three pick of the week, I got Arizona traveling to Oakland. Both these teams have similar stadiums on the grass, uh, outdoors. They're both on the West Coast. Uh, so I don't think it's any problem for Arizona. Arizona wants to stay ahead in that division. They know how hard it is to win in that division. Uh, they might get their quarterback this week. Oakland, like I said, they got blown out the week before. They came back and played good uh, against San Diego, even though they, they, they covered the spread. Uh, but I think they'll fall short against Arizona's defense. Uh, Arizona has a great rushing attack, and Oakland's run uh, defense is not so great. Uh, so it's only a three and a half point spread. So I'm taking Arizona minus three and a half. My number two pick of the week is Carolina traveling to Green Bay. Carolina tied, uh, which is an impressive tie in Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati's uh, you know keeping them close those games, uh, but Green Bay um, on the road beat Miami last week. Uh, they didn't cover their spread, but they're at home this week. They they're they won their last uh, two games this year at home, and uh, impressively as well. So uh, it's a seven-point spread. Uh, Carolina, you know, they might put up some points. Cam Newton looked pretty uh, impressive against Cincinnati, uh, but uh, they're facing uh, Aaron Rodgers this week. And uh, Green Bay wants to keep that lead with Detroit. I know how it's going to be neck and neck all year. I know it. Uh, so I'm taking Green Bay minus seven. And my number one pick of the week, I got Cincinnati traveling to Indianapolis. Uh, these two teams are pretty evenly matched. I think Indianapolis is on a four game win streak and uh, they've been uh, just rocking it. You know, uh, Cincinnati's a little hit and miss and they're doing well as, as, as on their division as well. Uh, still uh, in first place, both these two teams in first place. Uh, it should be a great game, uh, but you know, three points to the home team. Uh, that means these two teams are evenly matched. I uh, just like Andrew Luck over Andy Dalton. Um, Cincinnati's uh, won, but they beat uh, Baltimore, Atlanta, Tennessee, a couple of uh, blah teams. But then again, you go Indianapolis, won Jacksonville, Tennessee, Baltimore, Houston. Uh, so, but uh, they're, I'm taking that home field. It's tough to beat Indianapolis at home. Uh, they're a great team at home. So, for my number one pick, taking Indianapolis minus three. Well, that's it for the week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Stay tuned for next week's video and uh, come back every week for the whole football season. I try to keep it short so to keep it interesting. You know, who knows? And that off season as well, I, I bring up lines, previews, and, and news and things of that nature. Uh, so, like, subscribe, you know the drill. I'll see you next week. Peace.